My name's Richard Wheatley, I'm uh, from Jazz FM, and I have the lucky task of introducing this evening's celebration. I welcome you first of all on behalf of Mishcom de Rare and Jazz FM to Upstairs at Ronnie Scott's, probably the most famous jazz venue in the world. Entrepreneur is someone who has a vision, is passionate about it, and they do whatever it takes to bring that vision to reality. Someone that creates something and makes it commercially useful. Somebody that has a belief, I think, a passion. Somebody who understands their own limitations. Someone who's unemployable. Somebody who follows their dream. Everyone's kind of entrepreneurial. You know, people get their job, they're ambitious, they, they want to get promoted. An entrepreneur comes in many shapes and sizes. I think it's somebody who's not frightened to take risk, looks for the win-win. You need to be obviously persistent. You know, you need to be able to not give up. You need to be able to face reality. You know, things aren't going quite the way you want them to go. Understand that and then move on again. You know, keep it simple. Be able to stand back and actually look. And I think look at what the customer wants and what you think he wants. I think you need tenacity. I think being committed and really not accepting failure. So it's always that mentality to keep winning, 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 winning. If you lose a project, make sure you work out why you lost it and go again to win the next one. I have failed on few occasions it hurts and it hurts like hell that's why part of my mantra is don't retreat reload I think it's a case of understanding why you failed looking not to repeat the mistake again and going back for some more nothing's ever perfect it never goes according to plan and you do fail it's about managing risk and making sure on balance you don't make you have more wins than you have losses of course you need support and I think if you can recognize in particular where those areas of support that you need, then you've, you know, you've got the ingredients to give you a better chance of success. You learn a whole lot more from failure than success. And I think uh, the greatest lessons I've learned in business have been when things haven't got, gone quite to plan. You've got to love what you do. I think if you if you don't like what you're doing, you don't love it, you don't really think that you know you want to spend 12 hours a day at it, it's not going to work. Listen to advice, take lots of advice, but you can't get advice on good ideas. The simplest thing for me would be just get on with it. Look after the people around you. Be tenacious and stay at the game. Believe that you can do it. I think have that belief and, it, and you'll succeed. Don't ask them what do they think. Ask them why do you think it might fail? then you might get some good advice. Be resilient, seek advice from those who've done it before, and uh, don't give up. <laughs> <laughs>